ladies and gents, welcome to TFI and slap me in the face with the salmon. Did I not know you could do this for the longest time? So I'm not taking credit for this one. But it's all about batch plotting drawings. It's taking an assembly and then asking the vault to grab all drawings that are used underneath that assembly, all reference drawings underneath, and then collate them into a list for plottage. That's what this is all about. So what you do is you go to file, then you go to plot. You don't have to be in vault 2018 because apparently, <laughs> I didn't know this, you've been able to do this for about seven years. <laughs> oh my God. Must have been like 10 years ago I last checked. Uh, never mind, right. So in the plot manager, right, this is vault's batch plotter. You go to the add button here, right? And you've got add related file sheets and add related item sheets. And I'm just going to deviate and digress just a, just a little bit here. You know, that's what I do best. Right, let's, let's have another little chat head. Now, it might just be a cultural thing. It might be a regional thing. But nobody ever in the 20 years that I've been doing this within my little bubble has ever referred to a drawing as a sheet. It's, ne it's not a thing. Nobody's ever called a drawing a sheet. So I've looked at these two settings dozens of times over the over the years, and it's never once occurred to me that that's what this does. Because sheet, it's, it's a sheet. Yeah, all right, fair enough. A sheet of paper is a, a drawing is a sheet of paper, but that's like referring to a car as a hunk of metal. All right. Oh, we're gonna go. We're gonna go buy a hunk of metal. Oh, let's go drive the hunk of metal. It's a drawing. It's not a sheet. It's a drawing. Anyway, I digress, right? Let's go. Let's back on track. It may be a regional thing, cultural thing. I don't know. But don't mind, don't mind me. I, I, it's, you know, I, I like to whinge. That's what, again, that's what I do best, right? So add related file sheets. What you do is you then browse to the assembly that you want it to search for drawings underneath. So we'll go to engineering data, GeForce GTX 970. And I'm going to go to my top level assembly, which is this one here. And then it's going to scan through all of the sub parts and sub assemblies underneath this top level assembly and then it'll grab all of the drawings that it finds and then put them in a list here and then once it puts them in the list we can then configure the plot settings to suit our requirements for plottage which is uh, which has always been a bit of an issue with the batch plotter because you've got a you've got a mixture of different types of files, different IDWs, different DWGs, different paper sizes, different plot requirements, that kind of thing. But it is what it is. There's no real solid answer to that, right? So for starters, I don't know why it does this for me. It might just be for me, but I got two duplicate. I got a duplicate drawn at the top, so I'm just going to exclude that one from the list to say don't print that one. And then we've got a whole bunch of settings here that we can configure, right? So I'm going to print these all to a PDF. Why not? What? Because I can't. And for some reason, I don't know how, I've ended up with an Adobe PDF print driver. I think it's came with my Creative Cloud suite, but apparently I've got one. And I'm going to print to that. But you can also print, for example, to the Autodesk DWF Writer, if you want to print to a DWF. Autodesk still offer this as a download. If you Google Autodesk DWF Writer, you'll find it somewhere. Don't use Chrome, though. It doesn't. It didn't like Chrome. I had to download it through Edge or Microsoft Internet Explorer. Again, that might just be me. Uh, or you can print them to a physical printer, plotter, if you want to as well, right? But what I highly recommend doing, if you are printing to a digital format, is go to the preferences of your printer and then specify a consistent single output folder. Don't leave it as prompt for file name, or else you'll have to give every single PDF a file name as it's printing them, which isn't really very automated. All right, so I'm just going to I'm going to drop that on the desktop. And then I'm going to untick view Adobe PDF results as well, so it doesn't pop up a bloody PDF reader every time it prints a PDF. Don't really want it to do that. And it would be nice if you could turn off the Windows 10 chimes every time it creates a PDF, because Windows 10 feels the need to let you know that it's done something. And I'm like, yeah, no, I've just told you to do it. I'm, I'm fine. You don't have to tell me, but no, apparently it does. Okay, right, back to the plot manager. We're going to multi-select all of the sheets or drawings as the real world calls them. And then the device, I'm going to select the Adobe PDF driver. So that assigns that device to all of the drawings. Then for the plot size, this top drawn here, this is an A1 drawing, so you can select different paper sizes per different drawings. So A1 for that one, multi-select those. You can select sort of A4 or select A3 for different different paper sizes, different um, different sheets, different drawings, whatever. Is that actually selected? Yes, it has. That has gone to A3. Yes, it has. All right, then, and then we can reselect all of them. And then change their their color to black and white if you don't want any color. Uh, make sure they're all at landscape, one to one, etc. A couple of other things you can do in the options of the plot manager, you can choose to plot using a visualization file if one is available. So if you've already pre-created DWFs of your drawings, then you can choose to plot the DWF to a PDF. Doesn't really make a lot of sense. Don't know why you do that, but to a physical printer, you could do. Choose to plot the visualization file to a 
physical printer. But either way, instead of actually opening up the inventor drawing and printing that, it'll open up the DWIF and print that to whatever device you select. And you can also choose a watermark as well. Uh, this has been enhanced, possibly added. I don't know because I've really genuinely never used a plot manager before. So this watermark is being enhanced in 2018 or added in 2018. But you can add property-based watermarks to the drawings as they're plotted. Uh, and if I do a tutorial specifically on the plot manager in more detail, I'll show you a bit more about the watermark. But... Uh, in fact, no, do you know what? Sorry, let's do it. Let's 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 see what happens, right? Watermark. Let's see what we can do with this. So property watermark state historical. Right. Can I configure it? Yes, I can. Where's it gonna be? The center or in the border? Uh the border. Whereabouts in the border is that gonna go? Top or bottom? Uh I don't know. But let's Whoa, I didn't say close down. Let's go large. So, uh, color black. Ah, uh, I tell you what, right? I logged it. I logged this doesn't matter at all. But I logged a support call years ago. It must have been a good nine years ago, perhaps. Because on the web tab, right, Autodesk have got a transparent watermark option, right? A colour for watermark. It, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. For some reason, it, it, you can give it... In fact, no, let's do let's do that. It's transparent. Transparent watermark. And I bet you, I bet you that it doesn't come out transparent. In fact, let's put this right in the center so you can't miss it. And then OK. Right, let's see what happens. So click OK on the plot options. And then you can also save your plots to a list. So if you do have, say, dozens of drawings and you don't want to have to keep scanning the assembly over and over again, browse it to the assembly over and over again, you can save this to uh, an XML list, which you can reload in in the future. And then it saves you a bit of time, obviously, which is good. All right, once that's done, you hit Submit. Right, and then it's going to say, do you want to save your plot thing to a list? I'm like, no, I'm all right, actually. No, I'm doing the video, and then I'm never going to do it again. Right, that's it. It's now plotting your drawings to a PDF, and it's going to dump them on the desktop. So in a second, you're going to hear Windows 10 kicking the hell off. There we go. And then GTX 970, and we should get four more PDFs generated. Let's see if we get a watermark. Oh, looky, Autodesk. Does that look like transparency to you? No, it doesn't. Does it? No, it doesn't. <laughs> Uh, it's, oh, I love it. Oh, you got you got you got to love it. You've got to love it, man. You've got to laugh. You've got to laugh. Right, but anyway, there's my five PDFs all with their uh, Autodesk transparent watermark. And uh, the quality is pretty good, though. You've got to, oh, I don't think Autodesk can take credit for that, though. That's the Adobe print driver actually creating the PDF. But uh, it's worked pretty well. It's printed them to the right size. So this is the A3 PDF. The A1 PDF is this top level one here. So that one's come out pretty nice, actually. It's pretty nice. Borders are pretty solid around the outside. Margins are all good. That's all sound. That's good. And there we go. There's our five drones automatically plotted from DWG to PDF, all contained within a single assembly bomb. Right. Speaking of assembly bombs, what you can also do is the same thing from an item structure. Ah, yeah, nah, yeah, yeah, nah. Right. If you think, what the hell are items? I ain't going there. Not in this video. I'm not going to go there, but I will. I need to create items, obviously. Right. So we're going to go to the top level assembly and then we're going to assign that to an item. And I think I've got my vault set up all right. I think I've got it set up to enable bomb rows, turn them on. Uh, but here's my item for the top level assembly. There's the drawing attached, bill of materials tab. There's all my sub items. And all my sub parts, good, good, sub assemblies, good. Right, save that. Okay, right, in my item master, I've now got a whole bunch of items with uh, with no part numbers and stuff, but never mind, That's uh, it is just a test file. Right, then let's go to file and plot. Do the same thing, right, we're going to add related item drawings, and then we're going to browse to the GTX 970 item. There he is. Click OK, and it's going to do the exact same thing. So it's the same process from this point onwards. Instead of Vault searching for drawings underneath an IAM file, it's looking through all items and looking at which drawings are attached to items, which is brilliant. That is brilliant. Hats off to Autodesk. This is, I'm, I'm, a pro, I'm applauding you for something which has apparently been in the product for a long time. <laughs> I just didn't know it was there. But fix the goddamn watermark, would you? It's not. I need transparency. I don't want a solid watermark. I want it to be transparent. Uh, is was there any? Was there any other options though? Could I color it differently? There is no horizontal, diagonal, large. No. 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 Can't make your watermark transparent. Nope. Not the point. But there you go. That's the plot manager and how to print a batch of drawings 
all underneath a single assembly using Autodesk Vault 2018 down through to 2011 or thereabouts. It works. It works quite well, actually. <laughs> it does work quite well. I'm sure it does have failings. I'm sure it does have bugs. I'm sure it does have little glitches here and there. I don't know. I haven't used it extensively enough to report on those, but I'm sure in the comments people will say their experiences if they've had issues with it. So, ta very much. More Vault content coming on the channel soon. I do, I, I'm going to make a conscious effort to put more Vault stuff up here. The Vault team are making a conscious effort to make this product better. The lo they, it looks like they are going in the right direction with it. So in turn, I'm going to do my part to help as well. So more Vault stuff coming your way, as well as Inventor stuff, obvs. Toodles.